Hi, Nicole here. I hope you're doing well. Today's video is a quick tip video, and it's all about how to incorporate chapters into your YouTube video timeline. I'm gonna go over how to make them, the critical steps you need to take in order for them to work, and then why you might consider using these. All right, let's get started. Okay, so the first step is to get into the back end of your video. Now, this could be an existing video that you already have published, or if you're launching a new video, you wanna get to that edit description section. So you can go to manage videos, or you can go to edit video to bring you to the correct spot. Okay, so here I have this video. It doesn't have the chapters, but since this is a how-to, I thought it'd be great for someone to view this video and know exactly where to go. So you can place these timelines or chapters anywhere in the description. I like to have it closer to the top just in case someone's scrolling down and wants to view them. Your first step will be to play back the video so you can indicate what specific time each chapter should begin. If it's your first time doing this, I recommend writing down all the times. And then once you get a hang of it, you'll be able to do it on the fly by watching the video and you can plug them in and it will get faster. So I have already gone through this video and I'm just gonna put chapters and here are some critical steps in how you format the chapters. If you do not have the zero colon zero zero, it will not work. So you need to have that introduction 0.00 in there for YouTube on the back end to recognize the timestamps. For the titles, you need to have at least three letters. So I am putting longer titles here and we'll get to why in a second. And the third critical step is you need to have it in chronological order. So just to review, have zero colon zero zero, chronological order, and the titles have to be at least three letters long. Okay, so once you have all this outlined, I am going to click save, and then when we play back the video, we will see the chapters. If you don't see it right away, sometimes it can take um, 24 hours, but in my experience, it's been instant. So now when you hover over, you see all the great titles pop up. Titles to the chapter. So why would you wanna start adding these chapters to your videos? There's a couple reasons why I can see it being very beneficial. If you have long videos, how-to videos, travel videos, and you have really good chapter type topics throughout the video, it helps for a better user experience. If your audience and your viewers just need that one little piece of information for them to go and implement, it's much easier for them to just go grab the information and then um, maybe proceed and view longer in the video, or they can now come back and reference when need to. The second reason why is for Google rankings. If you've ever noticed if you plugged in a question into Google, let's say you plugged in what tether cord to use for the Canon 5D Mark IV, there's potential that my video chapter will pop up in the search. So you're helping more people, you're getting more views on your videos, and it's overall beneficial to everyone. So those are my two main reasons. Okay, so that is my quick tip for you today. I recently discovered this. I hope this helped you out with your video creation. Have fun, let me know if you have any questions.